Today, our champion, Rosario Lechiaro of Webster, Massachusetts, faces the challenge of David Smith of Braintree, Massachusetts, on Camel Pin Bowling. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Candle Pin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and I'm sure happy you could join us here at the Fairway in Natick, Massachusetts for three strings of Candle Pin Bowling. And you know by now, the total pinfall determines our winner. Now, uh, each of our bowlers is going to take home a permanent souvenir from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. They'll also take home some money. We have guaranteed prize money of $1,200. $700 of that goes to the winner. $350 goes to the runner-up. $50 available to the winner of each string. And... Uh, there are other opportunities, obviously, for our bowlers to make some money, which I'll tell you about as the program continues. You're familiar with most of them. I have a couple of certificates here. One goes to the runner-up from uh, the uh, Super 7 Tire Dealers. That's worth $50. The other is also worth $50. It is earned by a bowler, our marksman of the day, the bowler with the most marks, a $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores and Home Center. Now let's talk to today's bowlers, shall we? All right, David, welcome to the show. Thank you. I know that uh, you, you have been a little bit in the shadow of your big brother simply because he happens to be the state doubles champion. Ah, uh, well, that's <laughs> normal for me, anyway. No, do you beat him ever when you're? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, you we, do. We, we're pretty evenly matched. You go back and forth. So I see. Usually yeah. one year or another, or a few months there, and there we have a good streak back and forth. So it, it can work either way. Will he root for you today? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Rosario, you're back again. It was a long time there for about three or four years where you kept coming, and I, I had to say sorry, and you were going home, but yeah. now here you are champion two weeks in a row, huh? Well, I hope I keep it going. You're very relaxed, huh? Yeah, I am. <laughs> good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it should be a good match. Good luck to you, and for your first time here, good luck to you too, David. From the line, from Braintree, making his first appearance on this show. And he's faced with the diamond for a spare leave. The left side. Two, four, five, and eight. And another win for the diamond. David's league average right now is 120. He begins with a fine 10. First time on, and uh, obviously concentrating hard on the bowling, and for a moment forgetting that he was to move from lane two to lane three here. Understandable. A little punch out right down the middle of the one and the five. On the right, three, six, and ten. On the left, the four pin. So it's a six box. Now our defending champion, Rosario Lechiara. Current league average, 125. Trying for his third straight. One pin to pick up the nine. And he made the spare. Again, I will give you, although I did it the last couple of weeks, Rosario's basic statistics, in addition to the 125 average, a high single of 198, a high triple of 487. Big nine, and he leaves the kingpin, the five pin, to pick up for another mark. So he starts off with two in a row. David Smith, in addition to the 120 average, has a high single of 182, a high triple of 464, and he had a fine 698 in his five-string roll-off. He's representing the Marymount Lanes in Quincy and the Satua call away. 
This is not an easy spare leave. Four horsemen left side and the nine. <laughs> Lovely spare. Four horsemen and the nine. And all of you who bowl and who have watched for a long time know that that is not an easy spare to make. Wood comes back and taps the five, which is the only pin standing, but it remains up. Not anymore. Rosario Lechiara has begun the first string with a pair of spares. The fill. Just four. Still has the head pin up. Plus the three, six, ten, four, and seven. And the head pin is still the one pin up. For a chance. tumble so he's left with a bunch of wood and the ten pin so three marks in the first four boxes for Rosario Lechiara and the score considering the fact that he still has a bonus ball to throw is Lechiara 53 and Smith 40 on the line now for the fifth box in the opening string. Big hit, almost a hammer. Everything went down except the four pin. He was all over it for the spare. Phil, it's a six, leaving the four horsemen left side. One, two, four, seven. Just missed the head pin. It's an eye. Diamond left side, plus over on the right, the six and ten. Chopped off the five. Rosario, a veteran candle pin bowler, married, father of two, and is employed as a mason. An eight. pin drop everything down except the seven 
There was enough action on that ball, that despite the fact that it seemed to be coming in too full on the head pin, he was still able to scramble them. Piece of wood was a roadblock. Went right in on it, and it kicked the ball away so it could not go and get that seven. There it is, 4 a 10. Challenger, David Smith, coming up now. David is single and employed as a folder operator. Four horsemen right side plus the five and nine. Oh, everything went except the five. Picked up the single for a 10. Fairly. Four and eight. Yeah. Made it. Green up Rosario Lechiara. Electronic scoreboard being kept as usual by Al Giglio. Except the seven. Now, a piece of wood rolling back, but it's not going to hit it hard enough. If it hits it at all, just touch. going after and again that's the second time he's had wood which did not let him get at that same pin the seven Bruce Goldman is keeping score on a big scoreboard today for the gallery here so they can keep pace with what's happening and know the score Down they go. Time call by Ralph Stewart. Our lob line judge and referee goes down and gets a pin that was down there. Side by side pins is what Rosario is faced with, so he's going to have to get some sidewall action out of the wood if he's going to get the 10 and then come back again and get the 8. He got it. He got it. Don Riley, of course, is our statistician and coordinator, and I've already mentioned Ralph Stewart. Eight is the fill. However, he winds up with the five and six side by side, and no wood. Nice try. Nice try. Three through nine for our challenger. Now the wood comes into a favorable spot. He has the two, the seven, and the six. I should say it in the other order, two, six, and seven, but actually the two and the seven obviously on the same side. And nice wood just to the right of that two pin. Is it going to do it? Got the two and the six, but not the seven. So the best he can do is a 113. 113. A 
Our defending champion also working on a spare as he comes up. and he punched out the four pin as it was sitting between the two and the seven. Also has six and ten. And that's what he goes for. So it's an eight box. Now his lead is down to five. Two full winds up with a spread eagle half on the right side and two pins on the left. Two and four. Five for a nine box. It's an eight. So the difference is just three pins. Neither bowler able to hit his average in the first. However, it's a competitive string and just three pins separating our two. Rosario Lechiara, 116, and David Smith, 113. Champion always leads it off. And Rosario Lechiara has led off with a strike. First ball gets him seven. Two and four on the left, the six on the right. And, oh, how did he miss it? How did he ever miss it? It looked like an absolutely perfect hit. Got that. Two and four and flew the two over, but it just missed the six. Now today's challenger, David Smith. Got some backdoor action. One, two, eight. And a spare to begin the middle string. Big nine, leaving just the seven pin. He's all over it. So a great start for David Smith to the middle screen. A pair of spares. No wood to help here. And this will be Similar to the last spare leave he had, two, four, and six. This time he didn't kick the, the two pin over. So the six is still there. Ten. Thirty-nine through three. David, 29 through two, plus what he gets on the next ball. Spread eagle. Boy, the time that they dread the spread is when they are filling a spare.
10. Now let's see what uh, David Smith can do as he comes up with two marks in a row. One more and it's $50 in bonus money. Spread Eagle, just what we talked about, what they dread whenever they're working on a spare. Nope. By the way, our crew today is Dick Erickson, Rich O'Neill, Roger Rice, Skip Peabody. And as always, our producer director is Phil Rubin. An eight box. So close to a strike, but that five pin refuses to go down. You could tell, even if uh, you were not looking at the screen, that he did not make it. He made it for a 10. Score at the end of four. Once again, just two pins separating them. And it is our challenger, David Smith, leading 51-49. One pin separating our bowlers as our defending champion, Rosario Lechiara, gets ready to fire in the fifth box of the middle string. And he has a strike. <laughs> Two full. Just five. That's the first ball. Two, four, seven on the left. Three, six on the right. Nope, too far to the left. So the fill is six, and he'll be trying to make this at least an eight box. And that's what it is. David Smith, base challenger. Another spread eagle. Got two on the left. When you get the spread eagle, obviously you, it's depressing, but at the same time you have to say, I hit the head pin. That's what I'm here for. Nine. Dropped that one just a wee bit too soon. And as a result, it did not reach the head pin. One, two, four, and eight plus ten. just missed the head pin on the left side that time. Couple of nines. Seven pin lead for this man, our defending champion. Diamond left, plus the six and ten. Got the diamond, six and ten still there. Not anymore, ten box. Four 
French seven with a couple of pieces of wood over on the left and the ten pin alone on the right. This is the third week for Rosario Lechiara. He won the title by defeating Det Klein a couple of weeks ago and then last week successfully defended it against Springfield's John Sagan. And David Smith from Braintree is his challenger today. Two, four, ten. One piece of wood over on the right. He took out the 2-4. 10 is still there. Roadblock. Couldn't get to the 10. Three successive nine. And another spread eagle. Got two, the six and ten. It's a seven box. All right, final two boxes, middle string now for our defending champion, Rosario Lechiara. He's at 93 through 8. A nine drop. He has the seven pin to pick up for a spare. Uses the piece of wood, kicks it over, and has the spare in the ninth. 103 plus. All right, nine is to fill, and another single pin, the two to pick up. it and shakes his head he can't believe he missed it uh, and yet as, as I've said so often it still amazes me the accuracy that these men have when they're 60 feet away and they pick off with the small ball that skinny little pin a hammer. Everything went down except the kingpin, the five. Boy, he's all over that. Right in the middle. That's what I'm talking about. The accuracy amazes me. 60 feet away and bango. I have trouble making a three-foot putt. Five with the four horsemen right side and the eight pin. Nope. Held that one just a fraction too long. A 10. So one 10. And a 14 pin lead for our defending champion. At the end of two, Rosario Lechiara, 237, David Smith, 223. Challenger, David Smith of Braintree. And he has a lob which cost him the six pin, so should he have a strike now, it will be listed as a spare. It'll be the second ball.
Three pins on the right side. Three, six, and ten. Good bowling there. Got a ten and recovered from which, which is always a, a disturbing is about the best word I can think of when you do have a lob call. Boy, he's had a lot of those punch outs, hasn't he? Which means, of course, he's coming right in on the head pin. defending champion. Spare lead. The six and the nine. Well, he had reason to be concerned. That's why he wanted it out of the way so he could get a clean shot at the second piece of wood. That one. Each bowler with a 10 to begin the third string. Seven alone, five and nine over here with wood in front of the five and nine. Cut the nine. A nine. So on that exchange of two boxes, Rosario picked up one pin on his challenger. Now leads by 15, with eight boxes to go. Once again, David Smith punches out. Not quite a spread eagle. He got three instead of four this time. The four pins are on the right. He gets a couple on the left. And eight. One, two, and four are the three pins he's looking at. Looks good. Fair. Our defending champion, Rosario Lechiara, winds up with a split here. Two pins on the right, six and ten, two on the left, two and four. A seven. Each bowler twenty six through three, so the lead remains fourteen. Four horsemen right side and a tough one to make the eight pin. Got three of the four, but the eight and ten still there, and he's opposite a spare. Nine box. So David Smith has an opportunity to cut into that lead, which now has been reduced to 13. 
since he's has a nine against the spear. And whatever else David Rose raised. He gets eight more. So it's now to five. And for David, it's the three and the four. Yes, and he made it. <laughs> Tough spare, but he made it. Three and four. Seven, and he winds up with five and seven and ten. One piece of wood, and he's going to look this over very carefully because that's a very, very small angle, as you well know. The 1710 is tough enough to make, as you know when watching us with our high-low jackpot. He got a couple of them. Couldn't get the seven. So he put together a couple here. Rosario Lechiara, our defending champion. Two full. Took out that right side, but it dropped rather than moved left. So David Smith has taken the lead by two pins. Our defending champion opposite a 10 box. Two full. Five pins still there. He has one half of the spread eagle over on the right. Three, six, and 10 over on the left to four and seven. And nope. to go and our challenger David Smith in the lead by three. Boy that ball kind of broke. Had a little too much action on it and it went to the left. Missed the head pin. There are still four pins standing. The one and five plus the seven and eight. He got a nine. Our home viewer jackpot is four hundred and fifty dollars. Our high low jackpot one hundred and seventy five. And we'll be getting to those just as soon as the match is over. For a moment, it looked like he was going to have a strike, but he has an excellent spare leave. He has the six and ten over on the right. With wood, which can be tricky, but he made it. Now, that puts some pressure on Rosario Lechiara. He finds himself down by three and opposite a nine and a spare. Spare leave, the five and the nine. He made it. He's picked up one pin since he was opposite a nine box, but of course, this box has a spare for his challenger. Down the middle again. Five. No. Four. The nine pin, too. 
Nine pins still there. Just four. And there are still three pins standing. Got one of them. So it's an eight box. Three pins ahead. And he has five pins facing him right now. One, two, five, eight, and nine. Will he get it? Is he going to get it? No. Pin tumbled over, but did not knock down that nine. To 99. He has to get a mark. He has to get a mark. And he has a tough split right here. Two, four, six, ten. Boy, he came close. But he must mark. And he's down to the final box, and he has to get a mark. If he doesn't mark, we have a new champion. He got a nine drop. He has one pin to pick up. It's the four pin. All right, he has it. He needs two. Two pins. So he has to be careful that he doesn't lob. That did it. That did it. Seven pins, he wins by five. Well, that's, uh, I guess that's what a champion is. You have to do it, you do it. He had to get the mark, and he got it. And the final score, Rosario Lechiara, 341, David Smith, 335. 26, you know, $450 to the home viewer if have the card that I picked happens to be anywhere from six, 66 to 686. And uh, if not, well, that person's not going to be unhappy because they will at least have these prizes. A Hyponex plant food gift set contains fine quality Hyponex care products. Grow bigger, hardier plants with Hyponex plant food. Hyponex makes house plants grow like crazy. And Rand McNally's new World Atlas of Nations contains geographic, political, and economic information, along with detailed, full-color maps in a dictionary format, and a British sterling gift set for the man who's not just a friend, the cologne that's not just a fragrance. Give him British sterling and make him a legend in his own time. We're going to empty this out, of course, as soon as we have a winner, and that won't make me unhappy because it's getting very, very full here. All right, 676 is the magic number. Let's see what we come up with. 
And uh, this one is uh, sent in by uh, W. Zatorsky of Jewett City, Connecticut. And the guess is 757, so next week it's going to go to 500. 175, Rosario. 175 in the high-low jackpot. Okay, David. Give it a try. No! Okay, guys, if you'd come over here, please. David, and then behind... Would you get behind him, Rosie? David, let me tell you, for a first time, you put the pressure on this son of a gun. You put him right under the gun. I couldn't could win or lose if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, you know, I mean, it has to be nerve-wracking being on for the first time. And uh, maybe, you know, maybe there is a little uh, of, the, of the family rivalry going. I mean, you wanted very badly to win. All oh, I can yeah. say is you really did a job. Yeah. You came right down there. You get the $50 gift certificate from Super 7. You got a little permanent souvenir to put up on the shelf. $350 plus $50 in bonus money for winning that string, okay? And uh, now it's over with. You can come back <laughs> the next time and be relaxed, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay Rosie, three in a row, huh? It's going to be you know. And you, uh, you are the marks for the day. You both have the same number of marks, but you had those two strikes, and so yeah. that gives us the break. We get $700 for you, the Ace Trophy, uh, $50 gift certificate from True Value, and $100 in bonus money. And right now, as we talk, I, we don't know who your next yeah. challenge is. But you got three weeks. I've been, to, yeah, I've been. You got to bring my, your best bowling. My best bowling this week. Okay. I'll be fresh too. We look forward to seeing you, and we look forward to seeing you too. Don Gillis with the whole crew. Bye bye, everybody.